Cape are questioning why the National Roads Agency is pushing for a stretch of highway that will divide their land. This comes amid allegations of fraud against the agency's CEO, Nazir Ali. Nongvilwan and Tlingana, a subsistence farmer, lives in this isolated village. This homestead is all she has. ENCA is in possession of an affidavit containing her signature, supporting the construction of a major highway that would cut through her village and five others. Nshengana suspects her signature was forged. The communities believe this man is working for Sanral and is responsible for the forged signatures. As a leader for, for, for that area, um, I'm working with all companies that are coming down, not only Sandra. Demane denies the signatures are forged. It's clear to any motorist driving in the Eastern Cape that there's a desperate need to upgrade the province's road network. And there's some who believe projects such as the N2 Wild Coast will help do this and much more. Sandra has since issued this statement saying its CEO, Nazia Ali, is not being investigated in connection with the project and that it's probing the fraud allegations. The agency maintains it hasn't done anything wrong.